Okay, and the trick that we did a couple of days ago that Lindsay helped me out with, Pascal's triangle came up. So let me show you another source of Pascal's triangle and a few things about it. So if you look at a plus b to any exponent and expand it, anything to the zero is one, so a plus b to the zero is one, a plus b to the one is a plus b, and so on. And you probably know the first few. And then if you just take the coefficients of all the letters, you get these numbers here. That's called Pascal's triangle. And it comes up in different mathematical situations. It has lots of different properties to it. For example, if you add 4 plus 6, you get the number below and in between them. It works for all pairs of numbers. There's another pattern which is famous for Canadians called the hockey stick pattern. If you take, for example, any set of numbers on a diagonal, and then that's the blade of the hockey stick, and then go on an angle like this, that's the, so that's the handle, the, the shaft, that's the blade of the hockey stick. One plus two plus three plus four adds up to 10. And that'll work for any length of hockey stick because the triangle continues forever. Now let's look at a similar situation. Factoring differences of powers. A, a squared minus b squared, you know that's a minus b times a plus b. a cubed minus b cubed, you might know that's a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared and so on. Now the one they didn't put up here was just a minus b. It's a trivial example, but a minus b is a minus b times 1. So all of these factored forms have a minus b at the beginning. If you take the coefficients of all these letters, you get another triangle. Looks like this. It has a special name as well. It's called Hush's Triangle. <laughs> Very hard to remember. Thank you, Tom John.